bed of our pickup. Trying to spring bear hunt. And this is what we got. Oh, did you catch that? All that water dripping in? Boots. Barely missed my boots. Anyways, there won't be any glassing for a while. Oh my goodness, look at this. We got one. We got one. We got a cinnamon. Really light cinnamon blonde bear. Super rad. It was fast. I just put the camera down and it all went down. So we're pretty stoked. Details to come. Oh, just kidding. It's our golden retriever. He lied. And he's the easiest dog in the world. He'll just lay there. Makes bringing him along for this. He gets a little hot though. Real nice. He, he does hot? get hot and panty. But panty. he... <laughs> we keep slowly making steps to be ready in case we get the slightest break in the weather. We have camo on now, so that's good. But it's almost one o'clock and we're still stuck in the bed of the pickup, but at least we came prepared. Some Coors Lattes. Cheers to being out in the woods. We're just sitting here chatting. I was trying to look through the foggy windows and thought I could see dark instead of just the lightness of the fog. And I'm gonna try and glass a little bit. I'll just catch these pockets where it opens up. I'm really hoping it just continues to clear like this because we're in a great spot to get the spotter out. We could probably see for a few miles if it weren't for the fog.
not too worried about it at this point because I do have confidence they will reopen but we always say hey we should just buy our licenses first part of the year and then we never do I don't know I don't know what that means I don't know if they're gonna say hey anybody with a non-resident tag can't hunt regardless if you already bought a license or not or hey maybe there's only gonna be 20% of hunters out there next fall who knows either way I wish I had an elk tag in my pocket for Idaho I feel like all this is gonna straighten out and I'll be able to buy one but it's certainly not promising so I'm not real happy about that just got done eating lunch. We were watching a little Western Hunter on the computer because it was pouring. And I just looked outside through the foggy windows and thought I could see a little bit. So I popped the hatch. It's probably about as clear as it's been in this direction. So I'm getting a quick glass on and it seems like it's gonna stay like this. So I'll probably get back out, get to work, try and find us a bear. It's that time of day, it's about four o'clock. using the spotter to try and get some of this country that's a little further away but I keep stopping and grabbing my binos to check some of this close stuff I mean this is this is really where I'd like to find one <clears throat> and they could certainly be here so I'm just making sure I do my due diligence and take my breaks from using the spotter to just check some of this closer country with my binos <laughs> as far as we could pick off a bear so super thankful for that and we just finished getting the truck loaded took quite a few breaks during that process to glass um, haven't turned anything up yet I think we're gonna grab some lunch here and well, I'm gonna eat a sandwich and then <clears throat> we're gonna hit the roads and just kind of slow poke our way out of here stopping where we can to glass new country hope we can turn up an early riser. Maybe it originally was like coming into the country. But... I don't know, I mean, you can... That's what it's like. Can I come over there? I don't know, first, I don't know whether that's... Get it out there, the truck, or the floor, and get it on ice.
he just said bear with me. <laughs> um, we're making our way back to the highway. About 2.30 in the afternoon, we have to work tomorrow, but anytime we get a good glassing vantage, we stop. Give a quick glass, see if we can turn something up. Still hopeful, but you know how it feels when the hunting weekend is winding down. You haven't seen anything, so. I'm really enjoying driving around these gravel roads, dirt roads, seeing some new country. We've never been here before, so really excited about that. It's been pretty close, but not in this country. Looking at Onyx maps here, um, so we just pulled into a entrance to a closed road. They've got a gated and it's walk-in access only. So I always like identifying spots like this where you can hike in and get away from some of the road traffic. Looks pretty good. Lots of green around here. Be a good walking road. One thing I wish we had time to do was call. Predator call. But we're like burning the clock right now and really need to get home. So two weeks from now, hopefully we'll be back. Getting out of here for a minute. spot a bear from here we might as well quit this is amazing well I think that's a wrap I mean we're off a of huntable ground and we've got to get home I think that's gonna be a weekend for us always good being out here can't shoot them from the couch hope you guys enjoyed some of the scenery and I hope you stick with us because we do plan on finding a bear. We do plan on killing a bear. And we'd like to share that with you. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. It's going to be a fun season. This was first weekend. I think it's April 5th or something like that. It is April 5th. So we still got two months to go. And uh, there's going to be more and more bear activity. Uh, but at any rate, if you like the quality of this video, please subscribe. Hit that like button. We really appreciate you guys watching. Feel free to leave a comment. We do read all of those, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. It's a little light right now, but I feel like it's going to hit it.